Welcome everybody to my latest video. So for this video, as you can tell by the title, we got something a little bit different. It's not really arcade related in any way whatsoever. But I decided to make this video just because maybe you guys might find it interesting and I had no other material to record a video. You know, I could have released another Pandora's Box uh, gameplay video, but you know, uh, I'll save those for later. So here's the thing. I was uh, cleaning out um, my the guest room in our house, uh, cleaning out the closet, making some adjustments, and I came across my what remains of my once um, small comic book collection. And it was kind of, you know, fun to bring them out and take a trip down memory lane here, and that you guys might find it interesting. I have no idea what I'm going to do with these things, um, probably just throw them back in storage or something, but... First, we're actually going to take a look at some of these, um, what, what do they call them, graphic novels. Uh, these ones I've actually purchased within the last year or two, and it was mostly because it was really cheap, and I think I was on vacation, and, you know, it gave me some reading material. Again, a trip down memory lane. Um, yeah, let's uh, take a look here. Let's see if we can focus in. X-Men The Shattering. <laughs> kind of found this uh, pretty pretty interesting, you know. Again, don't expect much in terms of um, material here. Uh, what else we got here? Ah, Messiah Complex. I actually enjoyed this one. Okay. Executioner Song. This one, when this first came out as um, individual comics, I think this was one of the last comic books that I had collected before I gave up comics. And remember, back in the day, there were like comic shops all over the place. Um, I think I was in junior high or elementary when I started getting the comics. And, you know, people were trading them, selling them, buying them try and do chores around the house to earn money so I could, you know, buy some comics off my friends. Still really in good condition. Might, uh, read these again. Alright. Astonishing X-Men. Uh, Torn. I don't even know if I read this one. Huh. Ah. This is one that I really enjoyed, World War Hulk. I had heard the story and, you know, I think I was on eBay and I saw this really, really cheap for a couple bucks and I bought it and I really enjoyed it. Don't worry, we'll get to some better actual comic comics soon, but yeah. Ah, now this has to be one of my favorite stories of all time. The Infinity Gauntlet. I mean, yeah. Look at that. Now that's what Thanos should look like. If you've seen um, their, the, the new X-Men uh, movie coming out. Is it X-Men? Uh, where Thanos is in it. Uh, that, that guy looks nothing like this. At all. But yeah, this, this is one of my favorite stories of all time. I remember uh, going to the comic book shop trying to buy all... I think it was five individual comics, and I just I didn't have enough money. It was funny. I actually went into the comic book shop to buy the Infinity Conlet, didn't have enough money, and instead bought all five covers of X-Men number one. Um, maybe I have one of those here? I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. Ah. Extinction Agenda. Actually, I think these two are tied for first and second place in my favorite uh, comic stories. Loved Extinction Agenda. Funny thing is, when I bought this, um, I got it on eBay. The guy sent it with tracking and everything. I'm anxiously awaiting for it. Because I was, I was never able to read the entire story of the individual comics. And I always wanted to read everything. So, the package finally came. It was in the, 
USPS envelope. And there was no book inside. It was just the envelope. The envelope had actually torn and the book had fallen off someplace during transit. Um, the, the, the seal was sealed. It's just the side of the envelope was torn. And I was thinking, ah, crap. And there wasn't much I could do because it was with tracking and, you know, it said the package was delivered. So I was like, ah, fuck. So then, of course, I ordered... I'm not sure how much I paid for this. I think it was more than I wanted to. But then I ordered a regular, you know, fancy cover, regular cover. I ordered the regular one, you know, got it. And the funny thing is, you know, after I read it, really enjoyed the whole story. Probably about four weeks later, this showed up. Now, I'm really not a fan of uh, the post office. Uh, I think they got some outrageous prices. Seems there was never enough... Um, what do you call them? Check stands or whatever open up. It's always long lines. But this I got to give him credit because, you know, the package was delivered completely empty. And like four or five weeks later, this actually shows up um, from the post office. It was in the from their lost and found center or whatever, you know, undeliverable packages. But yeah, it showed up. And so I got to give the post office credit for that. Um, that's pretty interesting. All right, so now these are the last comics I had, and I must have saved these. They were probably real important to me, or I thought maybe one day they'd be worth a lot of money. Um, but yeah. So let's see what we got here. Batman number five hundred. This was a uh, with the new Batman. I remember. Right? Isn't it after Batman broke his back? Or Bane broke Batman's back? There we go. Azrael. Is that how you say his name? Yeah. Batman number 500. This was back when how dare anybody else be Batman and... Nowadays, isn't Commissioner Gordon Batman or something? I haven't kept up with comics at all, um, and with all the changes now, I don't think I would ever want to, because, let's see, we got someone else is Captain America, someone else has taken over the role of Wolverine, uh, what else, uh, Batman is different, um, yeah, it's just, I'm old, I, I like the old stuff, so, yeah, alright, ah, Silver Surfer number 50. This is pretty much the prelude to the Infinity Gauntlet. Nice uh, embossed cover. I think I, I think I paid 10 bucks for this for my friend. Can't remember his name. He was a little short fat dude. But he was really cool. Because <laughs> he had all this comic book stuff. And he got me to pay him 10 bucks for this, I guess. Alright. Ah, yes, here we are. The Breaking of the Batman, Batman number 497. Yep, that was a shocker, you know. Batman's back is broken by Bane. Really good story. When did I get this one? I think I might have gotten to that swap meet. Ah. Wildcats number one. I remember, uh... Image, when Image Comics debuted, it was the hottest thing around, and everybody wanted all these new comics. How I got them, I have no idea. But yeah, Wildcats number one. And <laughs> it was the only Wildcats comic I got. Oh yeah, remember these things? You look on the back. Wow, look at the discoloration. That's on the board. Alright. Ah. Superman is back. I remember. This is this is still sealed, by the way. I got this at a swap meet. Yes. Superman was resurrected. Uh, I had bought in two. One to keep sealed. One to open. I remember if you opened it, there was um, a trading card on the inside. And, of course, I did this thinking that one day, maybe 20 years later, this thing would be worth a lot of money, and 
I don't think it is worth all that much. Yeah, but maybe uh, in a couple generations it'll be put some descendants through college or something. Spawn number one. And I had a few Spawn comics. Can't remember why I got this one, but yeah, Spawn number one. Fortunately, you got kind of like a little reflection with the plastic here. What else do we got? Ah, yes. Reign of the Supermen. Remember after uh, Superman uh, died, four Supermen claimed the title. And there was f four Superman comics, each with a different... Um, with these newcomers. There was a uh, Steel black dude who made his own Superman uh, suit there was Superboy there was some cyborg and I can't remember the other one but yeah I got two of them here this is the the Metropolis kid Superboy and then this one Steel in fact is that cut out? yes it is let's take a look there we go Nice. Let's go ahead and put this back in. Oh, I think this one's a cutout too, yes? There we go. We'll just put this back in. Um, let's see, what else do we got? Ah, more image. Remember, <laughs> Stormwatch number one. I never collected anything beyond these number ones. I don't even know if these comics are still around. But yeah. Remember, I just wanted these because it was image and they were number ones. Brigade number one. If I remember correctly... This guy was kicked. Was once the leader of Wildcats. They kicked him out, put him in jail or something, and then he uh, formed his own team. Nice. Ah, let's get some more image here. Young Blood number one. Didn't they make a cartoon on this? And I think. If I remember correctly, it wasn't a double cover. Nope. One of these I thought was a double cover. Maybe it was Young Blood. Let's take a look. Nope. Well, I'm losing it. Ah. X-Men number two. Got a damn dog outside barking, you little yap dog. Punisher number two. I always was a fan of the Punisher. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, another X-Men number two. Don't understand why I have two of them. Ah, here we go. X-Men number one. Yeah, this, if you don't remember, there were five covers, and you put them next to each other, and they make one large battle scene. And then they had a special version of X-Men number one, where the entire battle scene folded over into the cover. And then on the flip side of that cover, you saw, like, every X-Man that ever existed. Very nice. What we got here... Youngblood number one. Rob Leefield. I remember anything with his name on it was just... Um, bought in lots of money. Yeah. First explosive issue. I don't even know if these things are worth anything. Probably not. Uh, what do you got here? Ah, here we go. This is the one... Again, young blood number one. So yeah, on the back of this comic, 
on the flip side, there's this. Uh, what do we got here? Darker image. And I got this because of the Max. I always liked the Max. I thought he was pretty cool. What else do we got? Oh, more Reign of the Supermen. This is interesting. This one, here we go, the cyborg. Okay, so there was only three that tried to claim the title. I thought there was four. But anyways, yeah, cyborg. And look at this. Huh. Very nice. Uh, what do we got here? Funeral for a friend for Superman. Yep, they're all mourning the loss of Superman. Terminator 2 for the Genesis. That brings back memories. Catwoman number one, embossed cover. I got it, uh, I think just because it was number one. Ah. Well, that was interesting. I didn't even I forgot I had this. Punisher number one. Oh, I got Punisher number one and number two. Ah, Death of Superman. This one was uh Yeah, back how how could Superman die? It was a good story. Uh if you're a comic book fan or even if you're not, I suggest reading it. If you can, read the whole series that leads up to his death, but yeah, at the very least, read the very last last one. <sighs> Punisher 2099, number one. I just got it because it was number one. Uh, what do we got here? Ah. Oh, there's the card. And this is the opened uh, Superman is Back, Adventures of Superman number 500. I think this is a sticker too. You can peel it off. Yeah, this is where Superman is uh, resurrected or something. And finally, Spawn number seven. I got this just because I thought the cover was badass. But yeah, there's what remains of my comic collection. I don't know what I'm going to do with these. I'll end up selling them or just storing them. I, I don't know. Um, maybe I'll hang some of these up, but there. Thought you guys might find that interesting. I just came across it and thought I'd just show you guys. Of course, it's nothing extravagant compared to other people's collections, but it did take me down a, a trip down memory lane. So, there you are. That's nice. Until next time. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over.